In this video, I'm going to talk about different types of lines that you might see in Onshape. When you start using the sketch tool in Onshape, you're going to see a variety of different colored and types of lines. And I'm here to help you learn how to read what those colors and types of lines mean. I'm going to start out by creating a simple rectangle. Just drawing the rectangle anywhere in this space. You can see here that my rectangle has four blue lines and four dots. In Onshape, the color code of blue means a line is free to be moved about. So I can click and move this in any axis. I can also click that dot and move that along any axis. The reason why these lines can be moved is because they are not constrained to a particular location. They are constrained in one sense that this line and this line are parallel to each other and that they are 90 degrees from this line and this line because it's a rectangular shape. Therefore, if I move this dot here, those lines will always move and stretch parallel with each other. This type of sketch where the lines are blue is an undefined sketch. That means it has no fixed position or size, which is why it is completely adjustable. You'll notice if I pick up this dot here, and move that to the origin where it now becomes fixed. You'll see that the two lines that are directly connected to that origin have now turned black. That means they have a defined position. That position is relative to the origin. Both of those lines start on the origin and one moves vertically away from the origin and the other line moves horizontally away from the origin. I can pick up and drag either of those two blue lines and move them up and down, or I can pick up and drag that blue point, but this point can no longer be picked up and dragged because it is defined. Those lines are black, they no longer can be moved. When you're drawing in CAD software, it's considered best practice to fully define the sketch. So in this case, the sketch is only somewhat defined. In order to fully define this sketch, you would need to add two dimensions. You would need to add a dimension for the width of the sketch and another dimension for the height of the sketch. And you'll see there that all four of those Lines have now turned black in color. All of those dots have also turned black in color. This sketch is now fully defined. Every single point and line in the sketch has a fixed position in space. The reason it's important to fully define a sketch like this is because it helps to prevent unexpected errors when you're editing and it also improves the stability of the model. This can especially become important as sketches get more complicated. Another type of line which you might see in on shape is this type of line, a line which is red in color. When you see a line like this, you should also see an error message which says the sketch could not be solved. The reason why this is a problem is because the sketch is overdefined. Over here we have a dimension that says 36.541 and over here we have another dimension which is connected to the same two lines which says 37. Both of these dimensions are trying to fight each other. This has of course created an unsolvable problem. To fix an overdefined sketch like that we need to remove at least one of these dimensions and you can do that simply by selecting it and deleting it. There again is the sketch in an error mode and you can see 
those two red lines at the end which are over defined the fix for that would be to remove one of those dimensions i might add at this point it wouldn't matter which dimension was removed as long as one of those conflicting dimensions was removed that will fix that sketch so that's a basic fully defined sketch another thing you'll notice is that the sketch has a gray area in the center this gray area means that this sketch is closed a closed sketch can be extruded another indicator of a sketch being undefined is this little blue line over here if you see that little blue circle with a line through it next to a sketch in your history tree that means that that sketch is not fully defined another type of line you might see in on shape is a dotted line like this a dotted line like this indicates that this is a construction line you can consider a construction line to be a kind of imaginary line. If you want to toggle a line between construction and not construction, all you need to do is right click on that line. In that little right click menu that pops up, you can then select construction, and this toggles a line between construction line and a regular solid line. Once again, right clicking there, if I want to convert any of these lines to construction, I can right click that and say construction or I can right click again and toggle it again. It's no longer for construction, it's a regular solid line. There's a short video for you about the different types of lines which you might see in Onshape. Coming up soon, I'll be sharing with you how to use this Revolve tool. Until then, see you later.